Take Two is hijacking gaming news this morning, announcing it has plans for a new Grand Theft Auto game, the sixth of the market dominating franchise. The company is also expected to report its second quarter earnings results after the bell today. We want to bring in Dan Halley, who we know is a resident gamer, gaming expert, I should say, for a little bit more insight. Dan, what do you think of the announcement? Absolutely massive. Let's go over what's happening with Take Two right now and then explain why Grand Theft Auto is so important. With the, the news coming from uh, this Bloomberg report, uh, shares of Take Two are now up more than 7% this morning. Uh, the report came out last night. Let's go over why Grand Theft Auto is such a big deal for gaming and for Take Two in particular. To date, the franchise, Grand Theft Auto in general, has sold 405 million units. Now, the last entry, Grand Theft Auto V, came out in 2013. That was when the original PlayStation 3 uh, and Xbox 360 were out. Uh, then we had, uh, excuse me, Xbox One were out. Uh, then we had uh, the PlayStation 4. No new Grand Theft Auto game. Now we're on the PlayStation 5. So they've taken this franchise across three different consoles. Uh, and so now we're expected to see the newest one. Grand Theft Auto 5 sold 185 million units so far uh, since Take Two's last earnings report and earned uh, $1 billion in retail sales alone. They also, by the way, have Grand Theft Auto Online and a premium membership for that that's raking in money. So this is a franchise that's that's just absolutely crushing it for Take Two. This game has been talked about for some time now. People are wondering when it was gonna come, if it was gonna come. Uh, and so the fact that it's going to be released or announced at least uh, makes you think that we could see it sooner rather than later if this isn't some you know, kind of uh, whirlwind event where they're gonna have you know people on stage or whatever announcing it. They could just say, look, we're at, we have Grand Theft Auto 6, here's a trailer and it's coming out blank. Um, so what we're expecting for the quarter uh, without Grand Theft Auto 6 is $1.3 billion in revenue out of Take Two uh, on a dollar to earnings per share. And so, you know, if this game does end up being announced, uh, you know, you can expect people to essentially drop everything. There'll be probably some people calling out of work when it eventually is announced. Uh, and then for, for Take Two itself, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit basically for, for how many people get into this game. It has been quite a long time, so the demand is built up, but there's also the flip side that it's been a long time. A lot of new games have come out. Uh, gaming is always evolving. Can they keep up with that? Uh, can they ensure that people still want to stick around for that franchise? Uh, the last major release that the company had was Red Dead Redemption 2, and that's one of the most critically acclaimed games uh, out there. So we'll have to see uh, if Grand Theft Auto 6 is actually coming and if it can live up to the the height that Grand Theft Auto 5 has really built up for it. Yeah, Dan, I mean, if we were, and as we were rolling that kind of tape of what was in GTA, I guess in the in the previous one, GTA 5, I didn't even know that you could play golf in GTA. I, I thought that kind you can, of Yeah, you can do whatever, against. man. <laughs> apparently, apparently you can do a range of things in GTA, um, but Ultimately, uh, we'll, we'll see if they do get that big announcement. Dan, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, Yahoo Finance's Chief Gaming Officer, the CGO, Dan Howley.